We got some pigs down, folks. You're gonna have to excuse me. I'm fighting some allergies right now and I'm hurting pretty bad, but uh, I've been trying to shoot these pigs during the daytime um, with a bolt action and it just hasn't happened. It's been really hot and dry here. And I said, you know what, I'll try at night. So I've been trying at night with the PVS 30 and the 300 wind mag, hasn't happened. And I said, you know what, let me get my 7.62 out. We're gonna do some stalking. And as soon as I go check the first feeder, there was a freaking pig down there. So I popped him free handed. The video is probably a little shaky uh, because I wasn't using a tripod. I like to try to wing myself off of those things sometimes. I don't like to feel so dependent uh, using tripods. But anyways, uh, I go over to the second feeder and I found another boar over there as well. And I popped him pretty close. Uh, but what I want to what I want to show you guys tonight is the Rover thermal that's on my Can Am. Uh, this is a thermal unit from Ultimate Night Vision that has a FLIR 640 core. And down in the description, I will put the yardage. I haven't done it yet on my app, uh, but I can detect these pigs at pretty good range, somewhere around 600 to 700 yards, pretty clear. Um, also, I wanna show you guys some footage through the Pulsar Accolade, which is the XP50, and you will see the shooting through the Pulsar Trail, which is, which is the XQ50. I'm also using nods to do my stalk, so as soon as I spot them, I will flip down the nods and tonight I am using the RNVGs from Ultimate Night Vision, they're white phosphorus. So let me show you guys the pigs real quick. you boy smoked you didn't even know I was here uh, this is the first pig that I shot I hit him kind of far back but he got lunged 
and he went down about 20 to 30 yards behind the dirt pile in the video uh, but he did go down and uh this guy right here you're gonna see it in the footage i creep right up on him i was probably about a good uh, i have to say anywhere between five and ten yards and i popped him right on the other side right here on the ear and the bullet deflected and came out right here on his shoulder so 762 by 39 and right here we have the rnvgs from ultimate night vision these are white phosphorus love these things they're pretty sweet and you guys already know i love shooting my pws it's 762 by 39 16 inch barrel we got the pulsar trail xq50 on there and then we have the accolade from pulsar this is the x xp50 and this thing's pretty sweet I'm really starting to learn how to use it a little bit better. One thing that I don't like about this, I do like this, but there's one thing about it that I don't like, and it's the manual focus. I just wish it was autofocus, but you know, it is what it is. You're just fighting the focus back and forth, but pretty sweet. I do like using that. Now let's check out the Rover Thermal. I got some cows here on the screen, and those cows are right there off to the right. I'm going to say they're about 325, 350, something like that. And let me get a light out so I can show you guys how this rover looks up on top and how I have it mounted. And let me focus. And there we go. There's the rover. That is the Rover Thermal, and it will rotate 360 degrees. Let me see if I can get it to move. I'm trying to do this one-handed and hold the flashlight at the same time. All right, there we go, so. And we'll do a tilt up and down. If you guys like to see a little bit more on this thing, check it out over on Ultimate Night Vision's YouTube channel. Uh, we did a review over there on it. Again, this thing is pretty sweet, and I am covered up with spiders on this damn thing. Uh, but anyways, if you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, get the notifications going, and again, I'll try to keep the content rolling. Thanks, guys.